Welcome to this week's edition of the Friday Footnotes. I'm your host, Amy Foote. Today's topic, we're going to talk about the importance of a home inspection from the buyer's perspective. You just bought that house. You're swept up in the excitement of it. But understand the next step in that process is the home inspection. It's important for you to understand the condition of the home so you can save money and time in the long run. When the seller fills out their disclosures, they're telling you what they know is wrong with the property, but it's entirely possible that there are defects that the sellers don't know about. So getting a home inspection allows you to understand the true condition of the property right now and prepare for any issues that might arise in the future. And knowing and understanding those issues could save you thousands of dollars in the long run. A home inspector is a generalist. They know a little bit about a lot of topics. So it's important that maybe you get a referral for a good home inspector. Now, we as agents work with them every day, so when we find a good one, we refer them to all our clients, and they'll give you a great understanding for the condition of that house. They'll be able to tell you what are little issues and what are bigger issues, and maybe what requires an expert. Now, when deciding what to ask to get fixed or negotiate those repairs, first thing I want to say is make sure you understand the language in your local contract. I know what our Chicagoland area contracts say, so I'll talk about those. Uh, first, it says that minor repairs and routine maintenance items are not considered part of that contingency. So, if the home inspector says that the furnace needs to be cleaned, well, that's really routine maintenance and something that you can hire somebody to do after the closing. After all, you're going to be a homeowner and you'll have to take care of those minor repairs and routine maintenance items anyway. But if, say, there was a gas leak on the furnace, well, that's a material defect or a matter of health and safety, and I'm sure the seller's going to want to know about that too and want to get it fixed. So it's a good idea to have your agent and maybe your attorney, if your state's use attorneys, look at that list and lean on them for advice as to what the difference between those items are. One final note, I just say be reasonable and responsible in what you ask the seller to repair. After all, it's a secondary negotiation after we've already negotiated the price. And if you make unreasonable requests, you might get an unreasonable response. Next week, we'll talk about that home inspection from the seller's perspective. So we're going to look at it from the other side. So I hope you tune in next week. Thanks so much and have a great Friday.